Hello everyone, my name is Anton. I have had a video about rock chip and running different neural networks, especially detection neural networks on rock chip. Uh, this video was one year ago, and in this video I want to update how all these pipelines look like right now. Because there was a lot of changes in mm, model zoo repository, there was a lot of changes in RKNN toolkit repository. So, in my opinion, it's important to do this brief overview how you should start with neural networks on rock chips in 2025. Okay, this is the end of 2024, but it will be actual for the next half of a year at least. So, uh, first of all, the general logic. You should start from installing RKNN Toolkit 2. Here it is. But make a note that today, if you brought the recent board, uh, pretty often it's already pre installed. Uh, for example, on all new Radxa boards, it's already installed. But if you have an old board or the board from small vendors, maybe it's not installed and you need to check this. Also, today it's you may not need to install the drivers. Uh, to like previously, you should like copy Erkan NPU uh, file to your like system directory. But right now, uh, this driver installation uh, performed automatically, as far as I understand it, like uh, from Pipwheel or like from uh, get, get for the same Radx, for example. So, uh, right now it may work out of the box, but you need to check, and if it's not working out of the box, please look at my guide one year ago. It's still actual, and it will help you to go through this process. After you will install everything, you should uh, see um, uh, toolkit light uh, in your peep wheels uh, and from this point you can like export and run in your neural network most of neural networks are available in this repository it's arcane and model zoo also there is like the second repository about llms uh, it's here arcane and llms uh, about the second repository i have pretty recent video where I go through this repository, run a few networks, compare them and so on. So just check it. Maybe it will be interesting for you. Uh, there is nothing changes in this video. Uh, but in the main model zoo, a lot of interesting stuff. Here is the guide I draw one year ago, and in general, this image uh, remains the same, but uh, there are a few exceptions. First exception, almost all repositories uh, have already prepared ONNX files, uh, which you can like uh, use out of the box. But of course, all these ONNX files, they already about pre-trained models, and since they are pre-trained, uh, for some of them, you can use them out of the box, like Clip Model, YOLO World, uh, Whisper Model, and for some of them, you can use them in um, limited amount of cases. For example, if you need like uh, Coco classes for the detection, you can take pre-trained neural network. Uh, and uh, the second big change in this repository, uh, now it's a big guide available for each one of this model, but it's like, in my opinion, a little bit tricky, and sometimes it's not super clear how to go, go through all this process. So uh, let's go a little bit through this process. Here is RKNN model zoo wrapper. We will check how to export YOLA V8 model, because it's like one of the most common. Uh, actually, you shouldn't click anywhere here. Instead, you should go like in examples, 
then the model that you want work with and here there will be a full guide about how to prepare everything for this model and so on. For YOLA V8 one of the most important part it's here. It's repository from a rock chip where they are prepared where they did all this preparation they like describing here of this model. So you can do this with the general YOLO V8 wrapper, but uh, in this wrapper it's already done. And in this wrapper you can um, you can find this one. It's a guide about how to export the model, what were the differences, and so on. Actually, it's pretty short. You just need to run export with additional uh, parameters and everything will work. So, uh, in general, you train your model with this repository or uh, with YOLO V8 repository and after this you using this specific repository from mm, Rockchip to export the model to ONNX format. After you exported your model to ONNX format that it's appropriate for rock chip conversion, you need to convert this model to Arkinet. And it's pretty easy, it uh, can be done with one line of code. You should do this from your host machine as well, like as well as this expert, as well as the model training. Rock chip board is not the board where you need to export everything and run in everything. After you will export your model, you just need to push this RKNN model to your inference board, which should be like RK Rockchip board. And after that, you can run your model. For example, for this with this script, it's a Python Dima. And if you are like using Android or something else, then they will like C++. Then here is like a few different demos and in, for some neural network there are more of them. In the last video I showed the problem uh, pretty common for this uh, RKNN. Uh, the problem is that inference script use PyTorch. And it's a terrible decision. I already mentioned this because like uh, PyTorch is super big and uh, complex uh package and it's it, it can have a lot of problems during the installation and uh because of this uh also when you upload this in your memory it's used up to 200 megabytes of memory uh also it's like a little bit complex to um uh, debug also it's like uh you ha you will spend additional uh, time on the memory transferring, like in the tensors, uh, from NumPy to tensors and uh, backward. So, in my opinion, like PyTorch, you shouldn't use for inference PyTorch. Uh, and, uh, like, even here, like with Rock uh, Py 5, uh, when I tried to run Whisper on it, there was some complex error with PyTorch and it required me like go uh, in the PyTorch code and fix some errors. I don't know, maybe it's about like the system installed here, maybe it's like incorrect PyTorch version and so on. So uh, better to rewrite all these parts. Uh, right now it's pretty easy because you have ChatGPT and in most cases it's work correct. So, for example, like here is the code, you can just take uh, the code, like the original code, put it in the, your uh, chat GPT and have a new code without PyTorch. But of course, you need to verify, you need to run some tests that it's working correctly and compare results. Uh, and in most models that are here, PyTorch is used. Also, let's look a little bit on different models available. Uh, let's do a small overview of different models and how to export them. 
we will start with classification neural networks. Actually, they like they are working super nice. It's easy to export any one of them. Usually, even if it's clip model, here it's like clip. Usually, it's like exporting out of the box with one line of code. So here it's like, for example, mm, mobile. No, 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 mobile, so mobile net. And here you can see that uh, it's just taking original in an X model. You can export it with anything and just directly converting it to Arcane. So actually all this classification neural network, they are working super nice and super fun. Same for clip model. Next models, it's like detection models. And as you can see, there are a lot of these detection models. Actually, if you want to choose which like detection model is the best, uh, I have a video about this. Uh, speaking of like rock chip and which is more appropriate for rock chip, actually, it's not like a big difference. In my opinion, like if you need something you can build commercial product on, it's probably like Yola X is good. Also, you can try to export Dama Yola if you like just building your hobby project like Yola V11, Yola V8, and so on. They are pretty nice. Models for segmentation. Actually, it's also like usually it's pretty easy models uh, like this one and this one. They are most common ones in my opinion. They are working pretty nice and actually. Usually it's no additional preparation for such models for the expert and sometimes they work in like out of the box. What is uh, next one? Uh, next one pretty interesting model is this one car plate uh, recognition. But I need to say that uh, here it's like LPR PyTorch repository and it's like quite bad. It's like working for Chinese plate numbers, but it's working terrible like for different. Uh, actually, I have a big article and video on YouTube about how to recognize car plate recognition. And uh, this one, you shouldn't expect something big from this. Yes, it can work, you can train it, but it's like far from optimal neural network from car plate recognition. Uh, maybe even like combination of some YOLA, like the are pre-trained YOLA for plate detection, like YOLA V5, and some of this text recognition network sometimes may work better than this uh, neural network. Also, what is pretty important, uh, here you can meet like Whisper, and here you can find, uh, let me find it, YOLA world. These two not neural networks, they actually are pretty hard to export. Like I tried to export them myself. I spent maybe one hour for each one of them and I were not succeed. And here you can like uh, find the totally working script for this export, which is pretty nice. Mm, and in my opinion, you should use like all this information, like all these networks, because these networks, they are already like general pre-trained and you can use them in a lot of projects. Like I tested them uh, both on my board and they working quite nice. Also, of course, there are some additional models like speech to classification, like face K point detection and so on. But in my opinion, it's like uh, pretty general models. You can find models that work easy and that's pretty easy to export here. But as like the general model for model zoo repository it's like quite okay i think this uh, overview is pretty actual now mm, in the description i will put a lot of links on some specific topics that also are actual now about like different rock chips board about uh LLMs on rock chip boards and previous videos like about like detection and so on. So mm, subscribe 
and Romit Union. The next video.